Hi, uh, I'm Tim Broderick. I'm recently elected Cairlock uh, of the Bandus Law Local Electoral Area. Uh, to my left here is Councillor Ashton Dolan, who, who has been uh, successfully elected today as the last Cairlock. Ashley? Hi. Hi, everybody. Um, very proud and delighted. Um, we had our first meeting of the Banlaslow Municipal District, that's the East Galway uh, Municipal District area. Um, we have six councillors in that area, and those councillors are made up of three independents, one Sinn Féin, one Fianna Fáil and one Fianna Gael. And we're delighted that in this council we have a grouping that are going to work together to really have effective change over the next few years. Um, delighted that uh, Timmy Broderick here, Councillor Timmy Broderick, who has uh, topped the poll, um, is going to be our Cahirlock, the Mayor for the East Galway area. And also for myself, I've been very proud to be elected Deputy Mayor or Los Cahirlock uh, for the period of 2019-2020. We have lots of issues that we, we feel that uh, need addressing, but most especially I think we have common ground with regards to tourism in the North East Galway area, which has been devoid of any incentives uh, provided uh, either nationally or even at a local level. And this is something that I think we will try to ensure uh, is addressed. Uh, also, Port Yuncla Hospital is an issue that's very close to, to all of the members' hearts, but most especially our Lash Cahirlach, who has highlighted on numerous occasions, both during the canvas uh, and, um, and at meetings. Yeah, thanks very much, uh, Councillor Broderick. So, indeed, um, as we were canvassing, I mean, the three points we were getting across was um, looking at how to look at environment, and that was hidden heartlands. How can we pull in funding into our area? And that's East Galway. Um, we have fantastic resources and facilities here. We have our ancient walkways, the Bear Brefney Way, the Hymany Way. Um, we're also really pushing uh, to get a greenway through East Galway and onto Galway City. Um, to my mind, that would be a real success for us, is to have a greenway coming into Banlaslow town, urban area, uh, with access here to bus links from Dublin to Galway, in fact across the country, and with rail access. Um, obviously, again, Port Yonkla Hospital and the 50 bed unit is huge for us um, and we will be fighting for that and we're working with our councillors and with the broader team, the 39 councillors at, um, at the level of Galway County Council, with the TDs, senators, associated to drive this at a very national level. So this is something you'll hear us talking about time and time again. And then finally, I suppose, looking at flexible working, how do we try and improve and invigorate the towns and villages in East Galway? Um, the Grow Remote programme is one that's very, very interesting. That's really recently had announced funding for over one million where we can look at hotspots or places where we can have flexible working and access to broadband in sort of the major towns and villages in our area. So that could be areas like Mount Bellio, Haskra, Caltra, Ballygar, Glenamady, Williamstown, Clontusker, Lawrencetown. We're looking at how do we help support those communities, fantastic community groups in those areas to really have the ability, if, if it is possible with our current work, to be able to work from home. Um, with the advent of the new um, uh constituency will face many challenges, most especially logistically, in that we're now going from Banagher uh, to Ballybo. Uh, it's an extremely large area. It's a constituency that was designed with, with very little local input. It's an independent boundary commission that's uh, basically faceless bureaucrats. Um, I would hope that we can ensure that every person in, in our constituency feels represented. There are only six of us, but I, I feel that there's a real work ethic among, among the six elected councillors in the Bandeslow local electorate area, and we will ensure and try to make sure that everybody is delivered, no matter how small their requests are. Mm, thanks very much, uh, Timmy. And it is true, there are challenges for us, um, but there is a real positive sense here in the Chamber today, and we're here to work hard over the five years. And we will be working with our community. We're here to represent farming, business. We're here to res represent volunteer groups across the whole area. There are six of us. We will be sharing our workload and we will be driving to have success at the end of one year where we're able to show that there has been positive change within our area. And we look forward to working with you and working with people in Banislow and in East Galway to achieve that. Um, thanks very much.